Hi, I'm Indra and today I'll show you how to create cool neon text effects in Photoshop. Let's get started. I'll create a new document and set my canvas height and width to be 1920 by 1080. I'll select create and uh, let's add a nice brick wall to our neon background. Let's increase the brick wall and fill the entire canvas. I'll select the check mark to commit the adjustments. Now let's darken this up. Select this new fill icon and select solid color and for the solid color type in 2E, 2E, 2E and hit OK and change the blending mode to multiply and lower down the opacity to about 65% yeah that should be fine and now let's add a nice opinion around the edges of this image to do that again select this new adjustment layer icon select gradient select the gradient color and set this color stop and change the color to maybe something like this yeah 1A 0F 0F so change the same color for this one 1A 0F 0F and hit OK and make sure your parameters are set like this select this opacity stop and make the opacity 100% Select this opacity stop and make sure the opacity is at 0%. Now click OK. Set the style to radial and reverse it and increase the scale to about 350%. Hit OK and change the blending mode again to multiply. So now we have a nice brick wall with nice dark vignettes so that our neon text pops around this dark background. Let's create our text. To do that, I'm creating a new text layer, selecting my horizontal type tool and selecting a nice neon font. I'll provide a link to this font and all the assets that I'm using here in the description section below. Also, you will find a link to the finished PSD so that you can follow along for your reference. I'll type in neon effect. The color of this text doesn't matter because we'll be applying a color overlay and uh, this will be all overridden. So I'll keep the text uh, size to about 270 pixels and I'll hit the check mark. Okay, now I'll center this text in this document. This looks nice. Now I'll change this text to a smart object so that even after we have applied all effects, we can go inside the smart object and change the text or the font to anything that we like. To do that, I'll select the text layer, right click and select convert to smart object. Now let's add the neon effect one by one. Our objective here is to play with the layer styles and the blending options and add a whole lot of drop shadow to get that nice neon glow effect. Let's add the layer styles one by one. So. Select this text layer and right click and select blending options and your layer styles window will pop up. We'll play with the bevel and emboss, inner shadow, color overlay and add a whole lot of drop shadow. So let's first add the bevel and emboss so that we have a nice 3D effect for our neon tubings. Set the style to inner bevel, technique to smooth and depth to 400%. Set the direction to up, size to 2 pixels and soften it to 1 pixels. Make sure use global light is not checked. Set the angle to 135 degrees, altitude to 60 degrees. Set the highlight mode to linear light and color to white. And make sure your opacity is 100%. For shadow mode, change the opacity to 0% so it doesn't matter whatever color you choose. Now let's add an inner shadow to mimic the color reflection on the tubings. For that, set the blending mode to normal and select the color picker and type in 95C6FF. Hit OK. Make the opacity to 100%. Make sure use global light is not checked. Set the angle to minus 45 degrees. Set distance to 3 pixels, choke to 0% and size to 3 pixels. Now let's change our color of this text. 
To do that, select the color overlay and select the color picker and select a nice whitish color. I'll be selecting here F0FAFF. -F. Hit OK and make sure opacity is 100%. Our objective here is to add a nice blue neon effect. After we are done with this effect, I'll show you how you can quickly change the color to anything that you want. So let's start playing with the drop shadow. Select your trap shadow and change the blending mode to linear light. Select this color picker and type in 073FAF. Hit OK. Set the opacity to 60%. Set the angle to 90 degrees. Make sure your global light is not checked. Set distance to 0, spread to 6% and size to 17 pixels. Now we'll be adding more drop shadow layers. And by default, you will be having only one drop shadow here. To add more drop shadows, click on this plus icon. You will see a drop shadow layer to pop up. Now select this new drop shadow layer and tweak the settings. Set the blending mode to linear light. Select this color picker and type in P5CEFF. Hit OK. Set the opacity to 50%. Make sure angle is 90 degrees, we use global light not checked. Select distance to 0 pixels, spread to 9% and size to 28 pixels. Let's add another drop shadow. Let's click on this plus icon. Select the new drop shadow and change its blending mode to linear light or rather keep its blending mode to linear light. Bring up the color picker and type in 2669EE. Hit OK. Lower down the opacity to about 20% and make sure the angle is 90 degrees with use global light not checked. Distance should be 0 with spread to be about 35% and size is 100 pixels. Let's add another drop shadow. Click on the plus icon, select the new drop shadow, and this time change the blending mode. To vivid light so now you already can see that the neon effect is starting to take shape okay change the color picker and set the color uh, to 80d4ff and uh, hit ok set the opacity to about 50 percent make sure angle is 90 degrees with use global light not checked Distance is 0 with spread 50% and size is 250 pixels. Okay, that's pretty much all for the glow. Now let's add a realistic shadow, a shadow of this neon tubing on the background wall. To do that, let's create another drop shadow. Click this plus icon, select the new drop shadow layer, change the blending mode to again linear light and select this color picker and change the color to a dark color like 1A, 1A, 1A. Hit OK. Change the opacity to 40%. Keep the angle 90 degrees and make sure you use global light is not checked. This time change the distance to 20 pixels and spread should be 0 and size should be 15 pixels. So here we have our nice realistic shadow of this neon tubing on the background layer so that's all for the layer styles and hit ok so here we have our core neon effect for the text now let's add more sugar to it by adding realistic wirings and tubings which connect these neon tubes together so select this gradient fill and click this new layer icon so that this layer stays below the neon effect and change it to maybe wearing Now uh, let's again bring up the layer styles for this layer. Right click and select blending options. Let's uh, tweak the bevel and embossed. Select bevel and embossed. Set the style to inner bevel. Technique to smooth and depth to 100% with direction up. Size to 2 pixels and soften it to 0 pixels. Set the angle to 135 degrees with use global light not checked and the altitude to 60 degrees. Keep the highlight mode to linear light and this time you can increase the shadow mode and change it to 100%. Next, 
change the color overlay and select the color to be black for that type in 000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000. hit ok now let's add a drop shadow select the first drop shadow and change the blending mode to linear light and select the color to be 1a 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 keep opacity at about 25 percent angle is 90 with use global light not checked select distance to be 20 pixels spread should be 0 percent and size should be 15 pixels now you must be wondering what's happening you cannot see anything yes obviously we have not done anything on this layer the layer is essentially blank but we're adding this all layer styles here so that once you start adding something it takes the 3d shape for that select the brush tool and lower down the size to about 8 pixels and select a hard round brush with any color now you can draw here and as you can see we are getting nice 3d tubings i'll undo this one and let's connect these neon tubings to each other that looks realistic right maybe let's connect the nmt like this And I'll just let this wire be dangling to the bottom, which connects to the controller maybe, and the power supply. Okay, so now let's add a nice color overlay to it, so that we can make this color pop more. To do that, select this new layer adjustments icon and select color balance. Select midtones here and increase the blue to maybe about uh, 40%. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, now I'll quickly show you how you can change the color. To do that, I'll take a different approach. Let's add a nice neon frame to this text. Select a new layer and let's rename it to frame. Let's uh, select our shape tool with rounded rectangle with our size to 11 pixels with the stroke layer having a color and the fill layer having no fill or empty. Let's draw in a frame of this neon text that looks fine to me now let's center it nice we can increase this frame a bit i think so let's uh, click ctrl t or command t to bring up the free transform tool i'll increase the height and uh, the width and click this check mark to comment the adjustments now i'll quickly add this neon effect onto this frame to do that select our neon text effect right click and select copy layer style now select the frame and paste the copy layer style so now you have it quickly we transfer our neon effect to the frame now i'll show you how to change the color to do that you have to individually change this color of this layer styles adjustment layers Let's bring the layer styles panel up, right click and select blending options. In bevel and emboss we haven't applied any color, so let's move on to inner shadow. Select this color picker and I'll take it to a more reddish tone. Change the color for this color overlay. Select the drop shadow layer 1, change the color to red. Do the same for the second one. I'm changing it to something reddish the next one has the very same treatment now for the final color drop shadow i'm changing the color to something reddish and here we have it and this is the shadow layer so i'll let it be to what it is right now i'll hit ok and so here we have it and now i'll show you the beauty of the smart objects you can double click on this layer thumbnail and your smart object edit window will pop up so here you can type in anything that you want let's type in let's party and uh, this goes out of boundaries so i'll quickly select the crop tool and make minor adjustments so that 
the whole text is visible. I'll click this check mark to comment adjustments. I will save this smart object and close it. And we have it reflected in our main document. Yes, obviously, this wearing got all messed up. So, no worries, you can just erase everything that was there and just select your brush tool and again paint on them to connect them because we have this layer styles applied to this empty layer so whatever you paint here will automatically take this shape of uh, 3d tubings yeah so that's done so this is how you can apply nice neon effects to texts and shapes and also you can change the text to anything that you want via smart objects. I hope you like this tutorial and for more cool content be sure to like this video and stay subscribed and hit the notifications bell. I'll see you in the next video. Till then stay creative.